how much content of seriously just talking about Frazier. Yeah, thanks, Frazier. Just Frazier. Fucking Kelsey Grammer. Frazier, Frazier days. Where's he? Frazier, Frazier Fridays. Frazier Fridays. That might block the camera, maybe. I don't know. Oh, what else, man? What have I been watching? I want to say, who, I was going to say Wild and Out because I've been watching them, but they make new episodes now. And that's the whole reason I even started re watching them. Yeah, he's so damn annoying. Cannon! God, he's annoying. My favorite part about Wild and Out is that the whole cast has no problem just ripping him apart. Like, they rip him apart so bad. His Mariah divorce is like literally as oh, they yeah. happen. Well, shit. When so... he got fired for ranting about the white shit, he get, they were ripping him apart on Wild and Out about that. It was good. White shit. What, you didn't remember that? When he was talking all that white fucking supremacists oh, and all that shit? And oh, then he I took remember. it all back and they fired no, him. I don't really. I remember Nick Cannon just being Nick Cannon. Oh, dude. He was on America's Got Talent as a host. Yep. Went on this big ass rant and about some shit with like, you know. Is that why they replaced him with the Old Spice guy? Yeah. Because this? Terry Crews. Don't, fuck, dude. Don't Old Spice guy. It's Terry Crews. <laughs> I love Terry Crews. Didn't Terry Crews do them a similar thing where he was like. No way. Or I, not, I, hold on. First off, let me. Yep, 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 yep. I, I don't want to say similar thing. Okay. Because like he came out and said that he was like, I thought touched by Hollywood dudes or something. Oh, he happened. did say that. Yeah. No. He. Yeah. He was a Me Too movement type of guy, but he's on the which is totally or opposite of yeah. Nick Cannon being a white hater. Me too. Yeah. Well, now he's not. He took it all back. <laughs> nah, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Nick Cannon can take it back. He called someone a big head or some shit like that. Get your big head off my stage or something like that when he was on America's Got Talent. And what, it became a spiel and then What is your thoughts about fired. Nickelodeon and when they <coughs> they give people awards that like post the Post Malone Award? I don't know if he got a Nickelodeon award. I'm oh, just fuck. assuming. You know, like they give certain they have people. Those, well, they, oh, well, didn't they used Nikki, to be the Teen Choice Award. Everybody got a Teen Choice that's Award. That's kind of what I mean, I guess, when it's those, like that relation of, I don't know. It's just... Are you trying to what? promote Being Nicki Minaj Nicki. on WAP to your Teen Choice Awards? I got more than that with just that WAP song in general. They're putting like, it on didn't... Kids Bop. They're, they have a Kids oh. Bop version of it. I was like, <laughs> first off, Kids Bop, thank you. Thank you out there. Uh, all Sense one to 273 a- albums. Dude. They are fire. Read between the lines, Kid Bop. Slap fires. So, um,. Sankey is the one that put me onto those and how amazing they are. I know. I think he brought it up before on the same show. Because I don't remember what it was, but it was like they had like an outcast version. It's just like the fine line of what they do with kids' bops towards it was like, why is a kid singing these lyrics? Yeah, that's what I'm and, saying. And, and then it's the obvious ones are cool are different, but when they were like, there was like some outcast song or something about. I, I don't know. They were really trying to tell the story of a southern lifestyle of a child, and it was the you know, oh Miss Jackson. Yeah, was it's it Miss Jackson? Was it that? Yeah, it's sorry, Miss Jackson. It's all and, about big boy having to go through his bullshit with his baby mama for the most part. But but for then, well, not even the most part. But it to is, hear that exactly on a kid's is. the kid's voice singing that that's that's what I'm saying. It's phenomenal. No. <laughs> not... It's the fucking oh, worst. It's great. Like literally, I could see. I know that, I sh- that should almost be the only couple songs you play when you're in the uh, carpool lane. Kids and bop. Like it's only like you you, you head, head into the lane and then all of a sudden your Bluetooth just switches over. <laughs> yeah. You have no control over it. Just you're, as like you're surrounded by heavy traffic. Kids bop is going to turn on. Sorry, sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> I am for real. <laughs> That's why I have a whole. Oh, boy. They probably have unnecessary kid choruses in there too. Yeah, I uh, got my other equipment kind of being used at the moment. Got to recharge the batteries. Got to save on that. So we're uh, adapt. Yeah. We adapt and we overcome. adapt and move. We're never perfect. Uh, one thing that we've been discussing about doing is coming up with some segments. Uh, a lot of a couple of the podcasts that I listen to. Hold on, let me tell it. You're getting to know them a we're little friends. bit. What we friends? The DJ from Lou Dog, Adam Tullifson, he was the one that... I know him. He, he I know him and his, had, I know his dad What did more. he call you? He called you... He called me All Things Kraken. Yeah, yeah. that's your name? Yeah. All Things Kraken? <laughs> yeah. Well, so, that's just what he said. Well, I guess he didn't call me. He kind of just looked over at me and goes, All Things Kraken. No, that's not your name. I was just like, all right, what's up, man? <laughs> I do like... And then he introduced himself, and I'm like, oh, dude, I know your dad. Like, that's dope. And I then, do like and appreciate the, the support, for sure. Yeah. We don't... 
had much of it, and it's usually my fault for not oh, posting the. Uh, we do need more videos. Yes, yeah. it's my fault too. Posting. I've been, I've been lazy with the helping on the editing. Yep, yeah, but uh, you got the I've one been, edit. Been you're a busy start, man. You're starting to learn. You got a lot of things going on. You're coaching busy some man. some baseball. Little league kids, dude. Uh, we're kicking ass. Right away. I'm so proud of them guys. Coaching some softball. We're yep. kicking ass. They're kicking ass. I'm supposed to be playing on this softball, but you're because pitching. I'm coaching this you're shit. You're pitching every week, and every week I'm telling the players. Every Thursday you kill me with this shit. Every week so. I'm like, oh, man, guys, I don't think Hoops is going to make it. And like, I'm just trying to fire people up at the keep bar. Looking, keep looking around and shit. Like, I don't know if Hoops is going to be there, guys. guys. So we we had 14 show up. That's what's you, up. You only need nine to nine, play. Yeah, no shit. Maybe so ten it was like, oh, guys, like, who are these three? You know, like, people just kept why showing he, up. No offense, but why did he allow 14 people to sign up? Uh, they didn't sign up. I think they we only showed. had maybe five or six people show up. Then I got, uh, you know, I think five or six others. And then all of a sudden, four or five mysterious people came out the woodwork. And well, there's always the kids. Like I, I've come. We're to realize. good though. Like, I, like the way they play, softball's a little different than baseball. So you have to you normally play with either an extra outfielder or you know a fourth outfielder. You put them out there. Fourth you, outfielder. You did it. We don't. No, we don't. We ours is three. I'm saying, did you guys do that with your extra people? We had a fourth outfielder. Yeah, and then it's. Well, what? I mean. Do you play softball? I would never. No, hell no. So that's the reason why you don't understand it. Oh, hell no. So I hate most so of So you'll be like the young kid that you'll be like the young team we played against that Oh yeah. They were a baseball team you could tell. Oh yeah. And like the way they swung, the way they, you know, acted and operated, all that stuff. Yeah, I'm not it a takes you a little player. while. You like you lean back, you're gonna try to crush it like a baseball and like it's not any type of swinging like that. We're not going to get into a softball podcast here, Mm-mm. but uh, we've been busy with things. Yeah, I think getting on to our life, edit. dog. Going back to these segments, though, that hold on, let me tell it to. They have uh, different episodes, like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Mm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think you told me about this before. Yeah, and I guess what I'm more looking at is to do in segments, like I guess like Conan does it or different things that we can have a nice little intro screen. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so we were talking about doing the, you know, what's cracking. That'll be trending topics. Mm-hmm. What's cracking this week? Do we have things we're cracking? What has been going on in the world, dude? <laughs> I don't know. I've been, let's, I've, let's, I haven't been let's able to jump. keep up with shit. I've just been running around so crazy. Let's go to this other segment of where are they now? Where are they now? I mean, I got the cast of cheers. I would like to know. Cast of cheers is where are they now? Um, I mean, I'm sure coach is dead. That's probably a given. Ooh, no offense. So, like, why do we got to always start off with the negative because stuff? Because he's it, the it, oldest guy in the group. Are, are we the guys that at least we go? Is it negative? Ne- get the negative yeah. out of the way first. Yeah, like, we're are, are you, uh, <laughs> if it's a good news, bad news, or you want to hear the bad news first? Is that what we're talking? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Because I'm not even gonna believe your good news is good news. I believe you're just fucking amping up something that's you're slightly amping. better than the bad news you're, you're going to give me. You're putting the band-aid on the bad news? Well, if you start soft, with, I got bad news and good news. The good news was never that good. You're just trying to give me something really bad first. And then you're just going to dish me this mediocre bullshit. Where it's like, <clears throat> yeah, that wasn't that good anyways. Could have just gave it to me and been like, here's this room temperature pudding you could eat. Well, let's, He's still acting, let, right? let's start off with Ted, Ted Dance. Dance. And yeah. again, this is a couple years old, uh, this post that I found, but I'm not going to get too crazy on on the internets looking. All right, so Sam Malone, I mean, he's the staple. He's yeah. the... Uh, Good old Ted Dancing. <sighs> Sam Malone, baby. He's the only reason is that bar exists. Tired? Yeah, a little bit. He's, he's looking old. <laughs> Makes me want to take a nap. I, I, I almost think that he was... Uh, was he always grizzled? I kind of think that's maybe a little bit of grizzled, like gray. Oh no! I think he was gray back in the he Cheers had salad day. poofs. He had gray. He did. Uh, I'm, I'm saying right here. Uh, what was that other show he did with, between there? They got it on there. My dad used to watch it a bunch. Oh, he did CSI. He did Becker. Becker. He, that's the yeah, one my dad liked. That's what I figured. Becker. What was the? Well, yeah. What was his shtick in Becker? Was he a, I don't know, but it, I, I know Tim and Eric. They had Decker. Oh Lord, it was the same thing. And it was thing. it was terribly awesome. That's funny. Decker. After all these years still fighting the Taliban, mano y mano. 
When will they learn that you can't bring a knife to a gunfight? Uh, Sam made a Malone though. Like for one, I, I, I don't want to talk against the Ted, Ted Danson, but I believe maybe it was just in the ending part, but he, he had that brown, you know, the, the hair, the, the flowing locks, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I believe that they had to eventually dye that or even he had to get like a, a toupee or something later oh, really? on in the episodes. So I guess we'll either it. that's a fact or I'm just making that up. <laughs> We make up facts here. We just make them happen. All right. You really want to know? Watch this. Sammy, you wear a rug. It's not a rug. It's not a rug. It's a hair replacement system. <laughs> Shelly Long. She's still She's kicking. She's Diane. She's still kicking. Come on. Come on, man. After Cheers, Long landed the lead role of Carol Brady in the Brady Bunch movie. In Is the it? Brady Bunch movie. Yeah, 1995 and a very Brady sequel. Uh, let's see. I think there was... Okay, she was... I don't want to talk about that one. She was in Murphy Brown. What's Murphy Brown? Yeah, you don't want to know. What is it? See, that's why I just didn't want to bring up Murphy Bring it Brown. up! What is no, it? No, Murphy Brown. I don't I don't know why that was show was on. So I almost guarantee Sankey likes Murphy Brown. Oh, I bet if you. If he likes Frasier, bucks. if you like Frasier, go ahead and check out Murphy Brown. Anything it's we It's kind of like bland rice. <laughs> no salt. Like, no. No like, nothing. If you're to take away the flavor of salt. Jesus. Like, that's what Sankey thinks me does. We might have to bleep that out because I don't want to shit talk. But he he thinks... <laughs> they take he, the flavor he, out of the salt. He, he says he went to me. He's like, I've never had a non-spicy jalapeno before. And like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Woodman's, dude. I love Woodman's. But their jalapenos sometimes aren't spicy. Like, I, I'll <laughs> make the pepper, the, the bombs, or the poppers, my bad. Jesus, the jalapeno yeah. poppers, I'll make them. And like, I'm eating, I'm like, this is just tasting kind of like green pepper, dude. Like, it doesn't taste anything just like bland. it. bland. Yeah. You eat it all down. I mean, it's good, but it's not as spicy. Yeah. I don't know. And maybe they get their peppers from there. I don't know. It's we know he's still kicking. He's got Carnage coming out soon. Woody Harrelson. Yep. He's got, yep. yep. He's a good, good actor. I oh, yeah, him. dude. Yeah. Isn't it crazy how he's went from the farm boy of uh, Woody? Was it Woody Harrelson and then Woody, what was his name on the show? Woody Boyd. Woody Boyd. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he had some quite a bit of movies he's been doing. Um, let's see, he was also in Star Wars. I've not been a, have you been a fan of the newer ones? I imagine you've seen the newer ones. They're, I, yeah, I'm not a fan of the ones that continue the story, like the 789. Those were like just drone pushed and like are they what they, are they called they, they made them really fast there was no there was nothing to like cliff hang you into the next one like it was uh, pretty much like what you seen and then it was like that was it and you're like well what are they gonna do next the cliffhanger was like what could they possibly do next and it's like this is getting dumb man like i kind of want to have it where you know for a while dumb, it was dude. it was a big thing to be like you were waited to see darth vader you know what i mean like sure. they would have they would have started with darth vader and had him walk in the whole fucking movie <laughs> like if that's what they would have did if they made the da, old ones da, da, yeah da. they would they would immediately would have had darth vader everywhere he would have been everything i mean you see him plenty you know in the old ones but not as not as much as they would have if they would have made him nowadays but uh like in homeboy he took his mask off right away like in the in the very first one the one they read you know the seventh one like they show the new guy kylo ren takes his mask off in that same one i'm like where goes that mystery you know what i mean now we know what the fuck he looks like that took three movies with darth vader you're like what's his face look like now uh, yeah they don't build it up so what's wild is up. like and i i, I don't well, i slight, i enjoy the graphics and the stuff because i think that stuff i know how long it takes to make oh, the things yeah, and, and thousands but, of hours but i feel like people don't understand that mm -hmm. and how the length of it takes of like if it was just a frame of a second mm -hmm. on how long that takes to edit in all these massive amounts of bombs or starships or whatever oh, yeah. hell things yeah they get, they and, get props but I, I feel like they spend the budget more on that stuff um, yeah that's what sucks versus then the storylines are Again, I, I have no uh, opinion on it because I didn't dive into those movies yet. Yeah. So. And I mean, the story wasn't too crazy to begin with either with Star Wars. You know what I mean? 
Like the fr- all six of them are based on basically it's almost the same villain. <laughs> like it's Palpatine for the first three, and then Darth Vader's just right from under Palpatine. You know what I mean? Like, well, is it your so typical like, movie of it's just uh, the dark side trying to take over for six? That's movies. what I was gonna get at. Like it's yeah. kind of cowboys and Indians, or yeah. you know. The... But it's good. I mean, it's good shit. It is good shit. It's good acting. You know yeah. what I mean? It's cool to watch. The, All right, well, the, get, the, getting back to it, what about waitress Carla Tortelli? Oh, Carla. She don't look any different. Look at her. She looks the exact same. Yeah. Uh, did you know who she was married to? Nope. Uh, she's married, or is it still? Per- Perlman married actor Danny DeVito in, 19- no in 1982, and they have three children together. Yeah. Which, again, if you could think of how tall he is and how tall she is, maybe that's uh-huh. a... I bet you that they have... Their kid's real short. She like played on eight, a show called Deadbeat. A nine foot child they well, probably have. Maybe the other two are. <laughs> a nine foot child. In, they in, have a massive child. Have you ever yeah. Well, it just kept growing. You need to go ahead and watch the movie Twins. Have you seen oh, that with, with fucking Daniel Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. 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 Some of the movies that I have purchased from Apple iTunes or whatever, you know, like waiting at the airport and just being like, I I, I need to watch a movie and I need to spend thirty dollars on a movie right now. What do I buy? Eighty four. And then that was one of them. Twins. Hell yeah. So I got that on the phone. Worth access Fuck all it. the time. Worth it. So uh, yeah. Something so the different. couple announced they were splitting in October of twenty twelve, but reunited following a three month separation. Couldn't so, do it. Couldn't do it without each other. Good job. I'm not sure if that means they're still together or whatnot. They got back. They said they reunited. Well, this was 2018, so, uh, you know. Good times, though. Feels so good. Kelsey. Kelsey friggin' Grammer. We all know about the Frasier. Sankey fucking yeah. threw that in there from 1993 to 2004 is when, when that one rolled. Uh, that's qu- kind of crazy. From so, 84 to 2004, he played the, the character Frasier pretty much. Yeah. 20 years. Uh, what if his, like, did you his know? Brain? Yeah, did you know he was on Simpsons too? What's he doing there? He is the sideshow Bob, dude. That, so from that, 1990 cool. to 2017, you know, he's double dipping on shows that are award winning shows, mm-hmm. and I don't know, making that Kelsey Grammer. How many, boy, how many shows, episodes of Sideshow Bob even got though? He's not always on there. He's just a reoccurring character, ain't he? Ain't he the crazy guy that wants to kill Bart? He's, yes. he's, not, he's not in every episode, though. No, he's not. But, I mean, when it... I, I don't know how that works. You know, I, I think certain episodes can be good episodes or you're getting paid for residuals if it airs again or something, Yeah, possibly. he might get royalties. I don't so, know. I'm assuming that they're... When they came out with the box set of that season, he... I don't know. Even if no. he's getting... That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, you, did you know that the Grammys were named after Kelsey Grammer? No, they're not. Well, it sounded cool. Yeah, it did. Look... <laughs> 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 Sounded really freaking uh, cool, man. Kirsty Alley. Well, that's uh, Rebecca Howe. You, are you familiar? Or are oh, you not on those yeah. episodes of The Cheers? No, not too much of them. Okay. That's like around the time when Woody she, came she, on and shit. I mean, it, it is. I think it's the same season. So she, what's this saying? She has also been an on and off again spokesman for Jenny Craig. Oh, yeah. So that's, she's probably been off when she's not been... A good spokes looking person. I'm I'm taking it as that. Yeah, probably. They're like, you're I off mean, of it, aren't you? You're not even on the Jenny, are, are you? Are you on it? Are you off of it? You Kirsty? Off the Kirsty Jenny? Kirsty? Jenny? Kirsty? Craig? Kirsty Craig? Allie? Craig? Jenny? <laughs> Craig Allie. <laughs> Excuse me, Craig? Sorry. Just so many first names. And Sorry. Names. Kirsty and Allie and Jenny and Craig. Look who's back. Holy moly, Terry Hilti, Indiana. It's not even the beer talking. 50 pounds down, thanks to Jenny Craig. You no, know, last time I saw a beauty like you, I was uh, dreaming. I was dreaming. My personal consultant, Laura, is like family, just like you guys. Oh, and I love the yummy food. I don't have to count, track, or worry. Uh, speaking of counting, one more. A moment can change your whole life with Jenny Craig. Oh, everybody knows her name. Let's see, what do we got for uh, Good Cliff, old Cliff. Cliff Clavin, John... He does Toy Story. Ratzenberger. Sure. Yeah, he does the voice of, who was that? Ham uh, the Pig. The Pig, right, yeah. Yep. And uh, Mac the Truck in Cars. So, I mean, he's doing that. He competed also on Dances with the Stars in 2007. I believe that Kirstie Alley did the same thing in... 2011. 
Mm. So it's kind of a big thing for Dancing with the Stars to, you know. Dance with the Stars. They're like, hey. You're a star. You've been on We're Cheers. Let's, dance uh, with let's get you in this. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else has he done? Uh, da, 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 da. Why does Norm look so different to me? I don't know. He stopped drinking those beers. Oh, dude. My, one of my favorite lines out of Norm is. When he, he comes to sit down and he goes, uh, the one liners are so good. Yeah. And he goes, Oh, yeah. Especially at the beginning when they, like, before the theme song, they always have them quick little jokes, whatever. So Norm comes in with this one liner, whatever. And he's like, uh, What do he say? He's like, I need something to do between my second beer. Yeah. How about a first one? I was like, I was like, oh. I was like, that's, I was like yeah. that's pretty good. You know, that's actually a thing that we need to do. I need to spend the rest of my life doing. Is going through every episode and finding the highlights of Norm's one-liners. I'm sure Paramount someone's already Plus. done this. Paramount Plus has them all. I'm saying to edit edit it up so it's all in just one stream of just his, his one-liners. one-liners. There's really, that needs to be done. There's so many. If there isn't already done. So Let's see, many. what's he done? Uh, Norm! Like you gotta almost do that. Always, do dude. Do together here. Norm! Norm! There we do go. You always hear Coach fucking over everybody, dude. Norm! Just screaming. <laughs> And he doesn't even look. Like, he just hears the ding and everybody else. And he's just like, he'll be washing the glass. No! Yeah, it's like, he it's does. So yeah, I noticed great. that. It's so good. He had the George Wentz show. The George Wentz show. I forgot right? about that. What, was, what did he do on that? I'm assuming he was the host. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, like, <laughs> what the fuck did it do? Like, was it a Tonight Show? Was it a comedy thing i don't know like he was Bart the, sugarman's midnight special he was he was the chicago shit. super fan for that was the saturday night live skit that's what it did. was it wasn't fucking toy story it was that shit it was yeah him and chris farley and and it wasn't wasn't the other guy was it well he made a cliff's TV, not on that too, he made he? a tv a guest appearance on sabrina that's probably what you're thinking about the, the teenage <laughs> witch you know it's fucked up i've actually watched a lot of that growing up <sighs> Damn it. it was on abc family like so all the time stopped. Just Between the full house that I'm also wasn't supposed to be watching and the Malcolm in the Middle on like two channels below that. Ooh, this is good. Went, George Went married Bernadette Burkett in 1978 and they have three children together. Bernadette Burkett. I got a guy named Brent Burkett. That, Shut up. But I always call him something similar they to that. To like, be, so they need to meet. It's just almost a. Yeah, they need to meet. Brent Burkett, Burkett, Burkett. Burkett. Okay, so we got. Baby, hey baby, baby, BB Newworth, and which played the BB uh, Newworth played Lineth Stern Stern and Crane, who was you know the Eventually wife of Fraser. The wife. So then he divorced her to go do his own thing out in the middle of nowhere in Seattle. <laughs> what a dick. She's, I, I don't like she's that played in some uh, basically. It looks like different things. Uh, let's see, Bugsby, Jumanji, Tadpole, Fame. What's she doing, Jumanji? I don't know. What's she looking like again? She was in there somewhere. 1995, Jumanji. Huh. I wonder what she did. I like that movie. So I don't know. That's that's a good number of the cast. I'm trying to think of who else was out of that cast that may be worth mentioning, but that was about it. You know, one guy. Oh, that one dude that's always Paul doing tricks too. Paul, oh, yeah, the redheaded dude. Yeah, he had that really strong Boston accent. Paul from Cheers. Paul. Car- oh wait, that's not him. This right, is the, this I'm is the Paul of. that I'm thinking of. Who's that redheaded guy that's always there? Not always, but he's in like probably like literally like every other episode. Like he's probably in like half the, half the episode, which is a lot of fucking episodes. I don't he's know. a redheaded dude. He's just always in between the boys, and he'll just like drop a one-liner, whatever the hell. Well, like, he's never says much. That was what I thought. Paul was the guy that was okay. the one line in Paul, and they, he he was like the third wheel always. You know, they had Norm, they had Cliff, and then there was Paul. Okay, so maybe okay, so maybe they. What season was he? In? Seasons one through eleven. Played Man, by I don't remember him the best is one. his name is Paul Wilson. Dude, I fucking know a Paul Wilson. Man. So that the guy. fact. But it's Wilson spelled with two two L's. Yeah, he's better fact. already. Man, why don't I know him? Because I've seen the first two seasons of Cheers a decent amount. The other one's not so much, to be honest. I don't know what he's doing now. This is uh, we'll have to get back to you. 
because I'm, I'm sure you guys are very interested in our just staring at the computer and uh, figuring out what Paul from Cheers is doing. Well, now you guys all know what the people from Cheers been doing. You're welcome. All right, what else we got? Oh, sweet oh, mama. Here's, here's one that I wanted to get for you guys. Uh, go ahead and read that one off. Oh, us. man, I seen this the other day, too, before you sent the link. I don't understand how people pay for this kind of crap. So an invisible sculpture was sold for $18,300, and it's made of nothing. It's a, an invisible sculpture. It's literally nothing. So how is it? It's nothing. How is it sold? It is a work that asks you to activate the power of your imagination. Yeah, what do you do? Send them a box? Because that's something. Yeah, you'd have, and then would there be shipping? How do you put it up in your office when you buy it? What do you do? You're gonna hang Earlier, that up. Earlier, he it on the also wall? exhibited another invisible sculpture titled Buddha. What the hell, boy? How you, so, so he's, he's selling another one. So he's got the idea. What the fuck? He understands. Okay, so what is it? Is it called a vacuum or something, or why is it read here? A vacuum is nothing more than a space full of energy, and if we empty it, <clears throat> and if we empty it, then there's nothing left. According to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, that nothing has a weight. Therefore, it has this energy that like is something. condensed and transformed into particles that is into us. So you just sold a quote is what the fuck you did. You sold a poem. Wow, that's a good... It's almost like the NFTs being sold. Yeah. You know, like the Charlie bit my finger or whatever the hell that kid was. There's that one look being at, sold for millions just, of dollars. Look at, look, at, look at that link when you're talking about it. Right below it. Sotheby's to sell first NFT in online auction. As you're talking about it. I don't like the internet anymore. <laughs> Internet's just watching everything, dude. So what was it? What did it say about a square piece of tape? When I decide to exhibit an immaterial sculpture in a given space, that space will be concentrate a certain amount and density of thoughts at a precise point, creating a sculpture that from my title will only take the most varied forms. Ooh. He's just selling freaking poetry. I like this. Well, not poetry. He's selling like... So is there at least... What do they call that? Philosophy? Wonder, is there at least a thing there, that, like, you know, to where, like, oh, in that... In this that's box at that time when he stared at that, that's what that was, and hey, do you see it? Demarcated by a square of tape on a cobbled stone walkway. The guy's away. good. I'll give him that. Walk away. What does that mean? What's it... Do? Demars, demarcated. Like it's just a square piece of tape, and then like in that area, you see you're looking over, and it's like okay, that looks pretty badass. That's definitely worth eighteen mil or eighteen thousand, eighteen thousand three hundred. The th the part that the three hundred comes up. Yeah. I mean, if you're what's well, an auction, right? They were they were well they oh I hope so. The guy that was like at I'm spending eighteen thousand on or eighteen hundred. Not eighteen three. Yeah. Busted. That's out for me. Too rich for my blood. There's the video. Here we go. Oh, lordy. Buddha in contemplation. Yeah, it's... Oh. <gasps> That's what I say. Why do I never eat before these things? The sculpture I installed in front here, above the white square space, is titled... The Buddha in contemplation. You don't see it, but it exists. It's a molt, it's made of air and spirit. The moped just drives right over it. I would love that. <laughs> like, I would fucking yeah. love that. God, I would love that. I would love even more if the guy who edited it fucking left it. Or he's like, this guy's a dick. Oh, there he goes again. I'm gonna. This guy's a dick. I'm, gonna I'm, not I'm not saying he's not thought provoking, all right? He's thought provoking. He brings up some like well, quality points. That's fucking cool shit, and it's a really oh, crazy perspective. Like he's a smart dude, obviously. These are just he's just taking advantage of idiots, though. So he just it's clearly this in stuff. some sort of. I mean, he's not doing this in America. Where is he at? He's Milan. in Milan. He's a dick. I think. I think he's a dick. I think he has. I think he has a good perspective on life and to like be creative and look at things from all sides. So and all this shit and like take everything into stuff, consideration. Though. Art is this type of stuff. But it's fucking air. That's beyond what I believe art is. Correct, because he didn't do anything really with he's it. He's loophole in the but, definition just to make so, money. So he got eighteen grand for tape. I'm saying he's yeah. a dick. Eighteen three. I think he's a dick. Or eight, I keep saying grand. Eighteen thousand three hundred dollars. It is eighteen thousand worth yeah. of a dick. But, again, where, where I'm at with this, He's and my curiosity leads into 18.3 came from where? You say it's an auction. 
an idiot. I need to get more research doing some of that, but my idea was nope. the property of where he put this piece of tape is owned by somebody, and it it's appears a like it's walkway. Well, that's what I mean. It looks like the city or the county or the what? What would that be? Milan it right itself. There. It's, the, yeah, it's the square. It's the. What I mean is, is how who pay who gave them the access to put that huge sculpture there? I charge them. I charge. Right. I charge eighteen thousand three hundred dollars. So, <laughs> or they donated that area to saying, "Hey, yeah, you can do this. You can collect money on our property." Yeah. Like that's where I'm trying to. Keep, or I don't they do understand. it on public property where you can't stop me. Well, if I, I go put a square on the sidewalk right now, there's nothing you can do about that. If I put a piece of tape square on the sidewalk, you couldn't do shit about that no matter what I called it. It could be littering. I didn't put it? anything there. It could, well, it could I, be littering. I, right, and again, so, you're on my you're on public property or private what is it? Let's public say he's property? got a let's say he's got to face a littering charge. That was worth eighteen thousand dollars. Right, but then I would rip up your tape. Well, I already because... got the video. <laughs> I already got the video. But I'm just trying to say like you, you... <laughs> So you're selling at that point. You're then selling the person the eighteen three. You'd video. be selling them a video for that. Yeah. Versus the words you were selling. So it comes back down to uh, Red Stop Productions. Go ahead and reach out. Yeah. We will be happy to supply your tape videos. Oh, um, and by the way, I found a pretty cool thing. I was oh, searching Red Stop today or the other day. Oh, actually, this man. morning. We're not really searching, but. That guy though, what's his name? What's that fucking guy's name? I want to know his name so I can properly call who he is. Salvatore Garo. Gar- Gar- He's 60, 67 year old. A, of genius. course you're Italian too. Why you got to be one of my people? Immaterial sculpture. This guy's one of my people. I got to fucking. So what do you think him. about this place? You're a dick. Red Stop Burger shakes and hot dogs. Looks good. Just came across. Where is it? it? It's in. We got about a two hour drive. That's not bad. But just the fact, like, oh, Red Stop hot dogs. We should like, go put a Red right. Stop production. You got stickers somewhere. What the hell's going on? I know here? you got stickers somewhere. So what the hell's going on here? He I'm said. Like, did I? Did I make this? You come in. They're like, finally, you come back. What? <laughs> you set up this restaurant two years ago. <laughs> like, Fuck, dude. We got it all here for you, Marsh. All, all the money's here, but like, we didn't really oh. know where to deposit it. God damn it! The nanny's on HBO Max, guys. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Oof. I burned through all the Fresh Princes again on HBO Max. Yo, what's up, Jay? <laughs> the nanny would be something you could probably. Uh, oh, that'd be a good DJ up. DJ up. Like her laugh. <laughs> what's that? What's the name? <laughs> of that what's that guy's name? It's like a a dying goat. What's the dad's name? I don't know. We, name. Like, that's all we need to talk well, about. I was going to say it. I was going to get all nasally. Don't, I can't remember her don't name. Don't get though. into any of it. Oh, she was on Goddamn Friends. Chandler. Oh, she, yeah, yeah. She'd come in there. Yeah. What's up with this guy, and why is he old like it's an that old filter. child? It's a kid. It's that filter, though. That no, makes it him look ain't. old. Just this stubborn old man kid. She got the Benjamin Buttons? Yeah. Is that a real thing? Russian dwarf. I thought it was a movie. Okay, so it might be an old man. I thought it was a kid. That guy is not a dwarf. He looks like a kid. He doesn't even look like a dwarf. His legs are all straight and everything. He looks normal. Mini Khabib. He's scaring the shit out of me, I'll tell you that. 18 year old. It's thought to. He's thought to have a genetic disorder. The guy's three foot tall at 18. <laughs> doesn't have any bent legs like a regular midget or dwarf. Oh, you'll see it. He yeah. was standing all normal doing this with his... Like, man! I like it. Ooh, what Even about this as one? active as Wee Man is, his legs are still like bowed and shit. You That's want to like do a, a pitch for this? Fresh seafood sale and below... Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. What? Well, We're gonna have to edit out all this. Time. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I hate that it's where it is. <laughs> you can't I can do, do it. it. I can do it. Every time you see the word Ace Hardware, I do. I start laughing. reading down. I try to remember what I'm supposed to say before that. And I'm like, okay, but what's going on there? Okay, so what is it today? That it's it's over. Why are we even talking about it? It's fucking over. <laughs> 
fresh wild caught golf shrimp, hand picked blue crab meat, whole red snapper and crawfish tail meat, always fresh, never frozen. How? My ass. How? We live in Wisconsin. There's no way they got from the Gulf How? to here and kept that fresh. How's never frozen? What do you got? A pool? Where are you getting it? You have a pool that stays cold enough constantly while you're trucking it? <laughs> that'd be insane. Well, I mean, our trucks have been coming to Wisconsin for over 40 years. That's what they say? Who are these so people? So then maybe Fab Fabian. Fabian, Fabian, Fabian. Fabian. We should have went down there just to see. There's no Anyways, way, dude, they don't freeze it. Even Wendy's actually freezes their beef. I, I guess I'm going to call them out. Just so I, you know. I've known that Ace is the place, but I wouldn't necessarily go and be like, Hey, Hoops, you want to you go get some seafood at the Ace? Not a chance. Or when I'm like, hey, you want to go grab some seafood, which is not one what one says to another. <laughs> well, sometimes, but not pulling into an Ace Hardware. You'd be like, where is it at? Just pull into an Ace. It's at Ace. Just meet me at Ace. For what? You getting ice need, or bolts or need something? Need some screws before we go get the seafood? Yeah, I got to get some screws and some shrimp and some crab scallops. meat. Got some scallops on the way. And some uh, two by fours and some... Only one place has my door hinges and scallops. Some Alaskan crab and some bolts. Some bolts? <laughs> Got a bunk bed to put together and feeling feeling some crab legs. Yeah, I gotta gotta go grab a rake and some uh, jumbo shrimp. Hell yeah, that's a good hell day. yeah hell yeah. But yeah, I mean, we should have went and checked it out. Honestly, Just I to would be able assume to properly the, dog them if it's bad. I would assume it would be back. They came here for forty years. I mean, they've been here for forty years. Uh, this one's a little bit back, but let's talk about this and then maybe wrap her up. Uh, what do we think about? I seen that Guy the, Fieri. Mayor of Flavortown. He uh, cashing in. I wouldn't say cashing in because he's still rock rolling, but he's got, uh, was it the Food Network? Yeah. I believe gave believe, him $26.7 yeah. million for the, for the year. And it's like, well, think about how much stuff he's doing. He's, well, see, yeah, and then they're comparing him to a football player. They don't, like, I'm not saying football players don't do a lot. Like, they're athletic as fuck. They go through a lot of shit, whatever. But all in all, their season is 16 weeks. You know what I mean? He's got to do uh, so every week. Weeks, this guy's got to do like they, three like they're, shows. They're off time. I don't think that they're able to be like right. So know, they still practice and year. shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. No, still... they stay in shape. Right. But like, they they you need rest days and shit. You know what I mean? Like you can't work out all your muscles in one day. So right. you go, you work out for a couple hours, and then you go sit on your ass. You know they're, what I mean? You hang out until they're, they're comparing his salary to a three-year player. NFL defensive player of the year. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Donald, who makes twenty two point five million a year, mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the mayor the mayor uh, received or what his contract is. Like, is it guys' groceries? Like, do they get access to a season of that? Of this? Well, this? He's got this, that. He's got then, the the diners driving and dies. If he's still doing that, he's still. And then he's got um, his own regular guys cooking show, well, guys Big Bite or whatever it was called. That's what I'm trying to say. Is like so how that much does he week, have though? to work to get to twenty six? Or if they now bought his all his old seasons, like his old shit. I don't. I didn't even know nah, the contract. I don't. I don't well, they, I think they own but it. I, all I, that stuff was on Food Network. I agree. To it's very with. difficult to be comparable. I think that they're just trying to say, hey, this is what one one yeah. man makes at twenty two million. They need to put on someone like what it would take. One's more physical, but one's gonna be. He's gonna run himself ragged on all them shows. The stuff like this that I, what I it. like about these salary comparisons is it should you should have an average Joe like me or you then, or a Walmart price of like you know this guy makes fifteen dollars an hour. How long would he work <laughs> to get to twenty two point seven yes. million? Fucking seven hundred years. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. And then like that's that we'll try to figure out those stats and put that on here. For Your the average person. man. Yep. Well, how long would it take your average man to get to this guy's money? Yep. I'm down with that. How much is 4,343 times 1,234? 5359262. He's a genius. That's right. Um, but yeah, like, I don't see the comparison of, like, why compare Guy Fieri to a football player? Like, that post made no sense. Because that's fucking, it's... One's physical and one's not, but like he's gonna be recording so many shows all week, every week, every episode has to come out. You know what I mean? Like they record a bunch, obviously, whatever. But then he's got to run what? Like all them restaurants. He owns a bunch of restaurants. He fucking runs diners, drive-ins, and dives. He travels. Well, so he's traveling his ass off. He's got a family. He spends time with too. On top of that. Yeah, but I, again, a guy like himself, I think they you figure out your team of people that are all controlling each restaurant, doing this. Oh you're, yeah. You're really just showing up yeah. to filming the things. 
still he's got a good gig, it, you yeah. know. But but definitely full schedule. A guy named Guy is gonna have a full schedule usually, you know. So that's 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 my. Intent. I remember when he started as the the next Food Network star when he won like the first season of that. No, no, hat that backwards with the glasses or mm-hmm. the glasses that's same literally looks exactly the same as he does now fucking flaming button up shirts and fucking all the same yeah. blonde and get up yeah he looks no, awesome he didn't look any damn different he looks awesome he looks awesome to a quinoa go ahead and, go ahead and say that one my time this. is limited I'm on my way to a quinoa potluck Jesus Christ I, did, I think that's a sanky one quinoa. I was trying to end it with a uh, quinoa that's that Guess that grain shit, ain't it? They make salads. Oh, yeah. Kids in Hall are back. What was that about? I sent that. Yeah, they're coming back, dude. We've started filming brand new episodes for the Kids in the Hall's eight episode Amazon original series in Toronto. That'll be interesting. Cool. Um, they look old. Definitely old, but because we get old as time goes by, it happens. Isn't that wild? Just had my birthday a couple weeks ago. I'm old too. Yeah, unless you are a 18 year old Russian. That kid looks old. <laughs> he don't even get the better half of it. He's 18. He looks like he's 50. Yeah. Or you want to introduce yourself to the show? Crack. Hey, this is all things cracking. This is Jake. I'm hoops. Hey, this is all things cracking. We're out of here. This is Jake. Yeah. Hi, bye. <laughs> well, I'm off. But um. Sammy, can I let you in on a little secret? Sure. I knew you'd come back. You did? You can never be unfaithful to your one true love. You always come back to her. Who is that? Think about it, Sammy. Well, I tell you, I'm the luckiest son of a bitch on earth. Sorry, we're closed.